What does it take to turn setbacks into superpowers? Paralympic high jumper Nishad Kumar, coach Jeremy Fisher, and Dr. Rory Cooper. Together, they're transforming obstacles into opportunities while revealing the engineering that makes the impossible unstoppable. Hello, Circuiteers. This week's episode features stories of great determination and engineering, of course. We begin with Paralympian Nishad Kumar, who opens up about the life-altering injury that redefined his path to becoming a high-jumping champion. I'm just playing outside. So my mother like cutting grass, like almost done. So they have electronic machine, cut, 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 cut. And you were seven and a half years old yeah. when this happened? Yeah. But you found track and field mm -hmm. a couple years after the accident. My physical teacher introduced me track and field, uh, high jump. He told me you have a good height, good physics. I train hard, I say I want to represent my country and uh, I want to play Tokyo Paralympics. And Nishad didn't just play at the Tokyo Paralympics in 2020, he excelled, taking home the silver medal in high jump. And a year later, Nishad was awarded the prestigious Arjuna Award by former President Kovin of India. Then in 2024, Nishad did it once again, taking home the silver medal at the Paralympic Games in Paris. So the sky's the limit when athletic talent meets scientific precision. Nishad Kumar has the drive and the talent, while his coach Jeremy Fisher engineers a plan to take him even further. He's hitting about seven times to eight times his body weight on a single support and trying to go, you know, two meter 20 or seven two, seven three, and to propel themselves over a bar that's like seven two in the air. And that's what we're trying to get Nishad to do. But we also have to incorporate the fact that he's at a difference because he's missing a limb, his center of mass at takeoff is a little bit different than you and I because of the fact that he's carrying maybe seven to eight to nine, 10 pounds of less weight on, on his right arm because he's missing a limb from basically his elbow down. Is it more efficient to have a prosthetic? What's the weight of the prosthetic? How is that gonna incorporate in him being able to carry that vertical velocity? Working with his prosthetic, I'm trying to maximize his strength, the breaking aspect, mm -hmm. we call it eccentric strength. Uh, minimize what we call isometric or amortization, where he actually kind of absorbs that force, uh, make it efficient, and then create a propulsion that he co covers over the bar. Do you feel like it's helped you? Yeah. Has it made you improve as yeah. a high jumper? Yes, I did. I just going to directly nine centimeter plus my high jump, like 214, boom. Wow, yeah. it helped you nine centimeters no. from just adding the prosthetic. Yes. So the prosthetic, you know, it's trying to match the weight to keep them in balance because we talk about symmetry and homeostasis in athletes. Do all coaches know all this scientific <laughs> background like this? Is this um, normal? My background is science, biomechanics, exercise, phys. We're kind of on the precipice of uh, this new technology. Uh, they're so advanced now that there's one, I believe, can pick up the egg, but not, you know, break the shell. So I have like different attachments. So one simple hook. So he helped me like putting the band inside and another one, this is help me holding the bar inside. Mm -hmm. And lifting weights. Yeah, yeah lifting beards. You had a very positive outlook on the whole thing, right? Like you never said that you had an injured arm or anything like that. But for those kids out there or anyone out there, what would you say to them to help them keep going? Believe yourself and don't like, don't think about you don't have a uh, leg, you don't have arm. So don't think, just only believe and keep moving, keep pushing hard, so everything is possible. Superstar peer athlete Nishad Kumar showed the world that anything is possible. And so did another peer athlete turned engineer and innovator. We're talking about Dr. Rory Cooper. So I was uh, injured in a uh, bicycling accident while serving in the United States Army in Europe. I uh, was coming into a small town in Germany. The bike path went past a bus stop. The bus driver apparently didn't see me. He pushed me into the oncoming traffic where I was hit head on. And then after I went through my acute care and went to rehab, I uh, had the good fortune of getting introduced to uh, wheelchair sports. 
This introduction led Dr. Cooper to the 1988 Seoul Paralympic Games, where he competed in the 4 x 400 meter wheelchair relay and won the bronze medal and more than 200 medals in the National Veterans Wheelchair Games. Once you're an Olympian or a Paralympian, you're sort of adjoining this elite family for life. Much like being a veteran, it's still pretty emotional. Even when I have the privilege to attend the uh, Paralympic Games or one of the Olympic or Paralympic events and see that experience for other athletes. You get those flashbacks of being on the podium. A lot of athletes use the technology I developed, so it's to me, it's all, all intertwined, my own experience and seeing other people benefit from the engineering work I've done to achieve their dreams. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. I was the first one to put the uh, fenders on racing wheelchairs. And I was one of the early pioneers in the three-wheeled wheelchairs. And I was the one that collected the data and did the advocacy so that the wheelchairs could be longer and you could compete in a three wheelchair and go faster and more effectively. And I was one of the early inventors and advocates for the steering gear, which allows for crown compensation and allow to go around the turns. As a graduate student, I invented the smart wheel, which is the tool that led to the whole ergonomic positioning, not only of ultralight everyday manual wheelchairs. I've had this great privilege of yeah, being an engineer, inventor, professor, and being an athlete, being a coach, and I consider myself, despite the injuries that changed my life in 1980, to be blessed and what I've been able to, to, to do, and, but more importantly, how that's uh, had a positive impact on other people's lives. From Nishad Kumar, defying gravity with every high jump, to Dr. Rory Cooper, redefining mobility through innovation, their journeys remind us that engineering isn't just about building things, it's also about breaking barriers down. If you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.